<laughs> Praise the Lord. Back to Knucklehead here, a.k.a. Brother B. Jr. Brothers and sisters, we turn our Bibles to Galatians chapter 5. We'll be looking at verses 1 to 9. And it reads, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Behold, I, Paul, say unto you that if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Christ has become of no effect unto you, whosoever of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. For we through the Spirit hope, wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. Ye did run well. Who did hinder you that ye should not obey the truth? This persuasion came of, cometh not of him that calleth you a little leaveneth, leaveneth the whole lump. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. Oh, my brother, this is God's word. If we give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus. praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, the Apostle Paul in the fifth chapter of this powerful letter that he is writing to the people of Galatia, where he mentions that th uh, there's a call for the believers to stand in the liberty that is made available by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that we are no longer to be under the yoke of the law. We, we, we've, been, we've been free from the, the, the law that the Apostle Paul is writing to the Galatian brothers and sisters. And, 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 and saying that if you, 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 you obey the law or go under the law, then Christ cannot profit you nothing. And, and, and such that where the Apostle Paul says, if you come and submit it, under the law, if you commit and you submit yourself under the law, what's going to happen is you are going to be, um, the, you're going to be devoid of God's power to His Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's life on you. It, it's going, you're going to de be deprived of Christ's power working in you when you come under the law. He also mentions about you're, you're going to be a, a, a debtor to do the law. And in James chapter 2, verse 10, the apostle James put it this way. If you come under the law and, and, and you offend in one point, you're guilty of it all. So you're debtor to do the whole law. And even in the same letter of Galatians, uh, the apostle Paul said, in Galatians chapter 3, verse 10, cursed is everyone who, uh, 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 that, 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 of course, is everyone that comes, uh, that doesn't do what th the book of the law says and do them all. And so you, you come under the curse. You're, you're debtor to do the whole law. And, and when you come and you, you, you know, you, you, the, the, the consequence of being, you know, submitted under the law is that you are now denied the grace of God. Where the Apostle Paul put it this way, where he says in the same letter in, in, in the fifth chapter of Galatians, he says that Christ is made of non-effect of you, those who come under the law. You have fallen from grace. You're denied grace. And so uh, the Apostle Paul admonishes the readers that there's 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 a a a a, a, a more advantageous uh, way, and that is to be uh, 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 under the, the spirit, being led by the spirit, and he gives a contrast of being led by the spirit, where 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 he talks about when you're led by the spirit, how when you're in the spirit, 
you could you could have a, a you could wait in hope. So uh, uh, the the life of a believer when he's in the spirit, you have the you could wait in hope. And then he goes on to say, because when I come to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, where well, you could wait in hope in the spirit, you could you could also where our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, whether it be uh, uncircumcision, it avails nothing. Circumcision, it avails nothing. But in Christ Jesus, you could walk in love because faith worketh by love. And that love is when you know how much God loves you because faith worketh by love. And so you could wait in hope in the spirit. You could walk in love in the spirit knowing how much God loves you. And, 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 and the, the, the apostle Paul also goes on to says, when you do this, you'll do well. And then, he, and then he mentions, it says, and who will hinder you that you would obey the truth? To, to, to believe uh, 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 that, that, that you're no longer under the law, but you're under grace. Who? He says, the apostle Paul says, for this persuasion does not come from him who called you. And who's him that called you? Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That persuasion about being under the law, that don't come from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It comes from someone else. It comes from these religious teachers, these, these, these false prophets, where, where, where the Apostle Paul says, when you're listening to these, these, uh, these, these teachings, that, 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 that's not of the persuasion of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul put it this way. A, a, a little leaven listening to this false gospel who the apostle Paul earlier in the in the letter he says the um he he says it like this he says you know there's the there's the gospel of grace and and and, and that's the gospel and there is no other gospel it's just the gospel of grace and if somebody preaches another gospel and there is no other gospel, there's only one gospel, that's the gospel. Great. But if somebody preaches another gospel, he said, let that person be accursed. Let that gospel be accursed, another gospel. And again, I say unto you, if somebody preaches another gospel, if it's not the grace gospel, it's another gospel, let it be accursed. And so the, the apostle Paul then says in Galatians chapter five, a little leaven, this accursed gospel, and it's not an, and, and the accursed gospel is a, a gospel that doesn't uh, preach grace. It, it leavens the whole lump. And so when you're listening to that or listening to somebody, it, 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 this is this is someone who who contradicts the truth, who's contrary to God, who who, who preaches a a a, a a a a a message that's accursed that contaminates the body. Because a little leaven leaven the whole lump, and 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 who and it's nothing but condemnation is cert is a certainty, a condemnation, a message that will uh uh, uh it, it weigh you down, it, it 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 will it will sap your energy, it will dampen your hope, and it will it, it will point you away from God, it will point you away from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that kind of message. And, and, and also, it's very critical and, 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 and condemning. And so, and, and when that happens, you get in what's called bondage. And remember, Galatians chapter 5, verse 1 says, We were called to stand in the liberty that was offered by our Lord, our Savior, and sooner coming King Jesus Christ. So remember that we are no longer under the law, but we are under grace. And in grace, you are called to stand in liberty. You know, in John chapter eight, we see it recorded where our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, basically he forgave this woman who sinned. The religious leaders at that time, they had a heart, they had a problem with that. And they started uh, an argument with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Then our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you know, discussed it, and 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 then after a while, some of those um, uh, religious leaders um, listened, and they believed what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said, and and they believed, and then 
it, it records where it says this, where Jesus says to those who, who at one time didn't believe, and Jesus talked with them a little bit, and they believed. And then Jesus said this to them. He says, he, if ye abide in me, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. But then there were those who didn't believe what Jesus was saying. And they said, hey, hey, oh, we, we, we be of Abraham's seed. What are you talking about? You know, we, we, we're not in no bondage. We, what are you talking about? You, what are you talking about? Make us free. And then Jesus then said this to them. The, 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 the ones who, 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 who felt that they were free uh, 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 because of, you know, uh, of, of their works. And, and that Jesus said this to them. He says, the servant abideth not in the house forever. Those who are under the law, they don't abide in the house forever. But the son abideth forever. And then Jesus said this, and whom the son makes free, whom the son sets free, hey, whom the son sets free is free indeed. And you're free in our Lord, our Savior, and soon to come in King Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his conscience to you. May the Lord give you speech. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up an inheritance to those who are sanctified in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And unto him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless in the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters. We are called to stand in the liberty, in the freedom that is our Lord, our Savior, and sooner come to King Jesus Christ has done. And he did this, and he did this for us, and we receive it by grace. And when we do that, in the year 2020, believing the perfect vision, where Jehoshaphat said to the people, in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20, Believe the Lord your God and be established. Be established that you are called to stand in the liberty and believe the Lord's prophet, a prophet like the apostle Paul, who in Gal uh, Galatians chapter 5 said we are called to stand in the liberty where we could wait in hope, we could walk in love, and when we do that, we will, we, 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 will, we will do well. And when we also do that, we will prosper. Praise the Lord. <laughs> God bless you. Agape love. Praise the Lord. <laughs>